Hey, wonderful people. We are back here talking about manifestation, law of attraction, and how to make our best lives. And one of the things that a lot of people do when they are watching these videos is to always get one more piece of information. They have fallen into the learning trap, which I have done plenty of times. <laughs> All right. Um, and that's because our mind, our brain, actually gives you a little shot of dopamine, a little shot of, hey, two thumbs up every time you learn something. Regardless of whether it's useful to you or not. Yeah. And then it becomes like, well, maybe I should learn something else, and maybe I should learn something else, and maybe I should learn something else. And then when you have to go into the comfortable part, which is outside your comfort zone, maybe I should go back here and learn something else. And that's what we do. We keep watching these videos on how to improve our lives instead of taking action. If you're not taking action in conjunction with learning, then you're missing the whole point. Because learning and action go together. They go to, or they're supposed to go together. I know they usually don't go together in schools. And maybe that's because they want you to come back and learn something else at their university. I don't know. But I know a lot, there are a lot of universities in the world that have a, a mandatory, it's just a part of the course, apprenticeship. So that you will learn in the beginning, like the first semester will be you just learning the language, the lingo, the knowledge that you need. But after that, you're out there doing what you got to do. You're in the apprenticeship program. You're learning and you're doing because it's learning and doing that creates wisdom. You can't learn it fully. You can't have the wisdom of the art or of the uh, trade or of whatever it is, you can't have the wisdom of it unless you're doing it. I mean, think about how many things in life are like that. You can't learn your way all the way in anything. Think about love, romance, and sex. When we were kids, you might have heard a lot about it, but you didn't really know what that was all about and how tricky it was and how, <laughs> and how great it was. And how awful it could be, <laughs> how nuanced it was all. No, you. I mean, you could have heard. You've hey, you've heard all the love songs, but none of them make sense until you're in love. You have to be in it to really understand it and know it. To have the wisdom, you could read a thousand books on what a what a what a strawberry ice cream tastes like, and you'll never know until you take the dive into strawberry ice cream, which is worth it. <laughs> yeah. So, what are we talking about again? I don't know. I lost myself. <laughs> the learning trap. <laughs> yes, learning is... That's why you have these people that um, will spend their... I mean, it used to be in the past more. But will spend a majority of their adult life just... Being in a university, learning is always feels good. We are rewarded for learning. And it becomes a comfort zone after a while. And you'll go on to video after video to the next course. And you'll spend hundreds of dollars on this guy's course and this guy's course and her course. And watch those videos because you're thinking maybe, just maybe, the next thing they say is going to be that one piece of knowledge that one nugget of gold that's going to send me over to the edge into whatever I want, into my dream world. Set me on fire. And that one piece of knowledge really is to start doing it. That's, that's it. You need to start doing it. Because if you're not doing it, then you can't learn. You can't get the wisdom from that. You can't grow in that. There's no amount of knowledge that can take you there unless you're not doing it. As a matter of fact, when you pair the information knowledge with the actual doing of it, is you get a you get a third level of wisdom on top of that, 
which is like, like nothing else. You'll never get it from any, any course or book or anything like that because it's just, it, it's just so far out there because you're taking it to different levels. You're, you're growing and as a person and the universe is growing and you're manifesting different things to you and you're, 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 you're growing on your manifestations, you're growing in yourself, you're growing in your experience, and it just takes on these extra dimensions where if you're learning, it's all linear. It's a fact on top of a fact on top of a fact on top of a fact, and nothing is actually uh, actually growing except your the compendium of your knowledge. Yeah. So... The learning trap. Let's try and get out of that learning trap. Let's try and stop the tailspin there of trying to learn that just another thing. You have to take action. And then see, then when you go back into the knowledge, because you started taking action, like making these YouTube videos, <laughs> you'll know more. And then more of what they're saying when they're trying to teach you will make sense. It's like those love songs that made sense when you fell in love. Then you can learn extra stuff on top of that. With the same words, but now you understand so much more. There's so much hidden wisdom behind the words when you're doing it, when you're taking action in it. So the knowledge is great. But it can't stand alone. It wasn't meant to stand alone. It was meant to have you take action in it. And if you just sit by and wait for that one extra nugget, it may never come. 